welcome everybody for this new cycle. So I think it's, it's number six uh, of Ruby's Small Cafe Talk. So maybe the 20, 20, 21st and the uh, Ruby's Small Cafe Talk. So this cycle, it's on innovative business model. Uh, just in two words, so Rubismo, we are a European project um, working uh, on um, dynamic of rural areas uh, in three different sectors, so food, bio-based value chain and ecosystem services. And you have many information of in our website. Uh, and so th there you can find some very interesting tools, um, a virtual library about a new business model. Uh, and all uh, in our YouTube channel, all our cafe talk and conferences, so many different tools, so you can go and check. Uh, so for this uh, new cycle, uh, it's about so uh, innovative business model in agriculture. So today, uh, Justin will talk will talk about what we did in Rubismo, and in the next uh, last uh, next week we will have smart chain project, so uh, another European project uh, presenting uh, its results after a long virtual visit in Poland and Ireland. And at the end of May, uh, another project, so Rural Age, uh, we will also talk about uh, rural tourism and community. Uh, so um, you have the link if you want to register there. And let's go for the presentation of Justin, uh, which is the floor. Yes, thank you, Camille, for the introduction and share here. Now you should see my, my side. Yes, uh, so welcome everybody. Uh, I will, uh, this cycle is about business models and I'm, I've been lying because I will talk about business strategies and I will explain to you a bit more um, why. So uh, yeah, different innovative business strategies for rural businesses. So not only agriculture, it can apply to other businesses too. Uh, maybe I'll try to give some uh, some framework. What is what in the presentation uh, and in the project? How how we defined it, and also how I defined it for this presentation. What I feel comfortable with. Uh, so business case, it's an organization that produces uh, value, and the aim is to generate a profit. Uh, that's quite simple. So yeah, an enterprise. Or, and then we have. Rural, a rural business. So it is a, a business case. It's a business that is anchored in the rural context. Or, and or it could also deliver value to rural community. Uh, so that's the approach we have for rural business. Uh, and I think the second, you know, the fact that they deliver value to the rural community, that's even more important than being uh, geographically sitting in a rural area. And then we come to the maybe a bit more complicated, the, the, the business model. So I define this as the structure defining how a business case or rural, rural business, how they generate value and how they manage resources and interact with their customers in order to ideally generate profit. Uh, and then the, the, the next step is this business strategy. So that's we, what we, I will talk about today, which are the set of decisions and actions, and it guides the business case or yeah, it guides the business towards reaching its objectives or solving challenges. And by implementing this uh, business or one business strategy, it's most likely that you will modify your business model. So I think everybody's maybe, um, uh, comfortable with the business, or I've heard about the business model canvas, which which describes your your activity, how you generate uh, value and and can get profit. Once you implement a business strategy, you will change maybe some some part of the of the business model canvas. So, um, a few words about what I will present is still work in progress. Uh, so I, I will. I would love to have like some ideas, suggestion at the end of the presentation, if you have. Uh, it's following the business model canvas, uh, as I said, and I got like a lot of inspiration from the, the partners, the different work we've done within the project, but also from other projects, um, different presentations uh, I've been to. And so in total at the moment, there's 14 business strategies. Um, 
and they are structured this way. So I, there's uh, five blocks. So one looking more at the resources on the left side, on the right side, more at the customer and, and the relationship with the customer. Then you have the value propositions on its own and then both cost uh, revenue uh, structures. So let's start straight away with the, with the resources uh, parts, the resource activities and partners. And what different, there we've, we found like three interesting um, strategies. So for example, uh, to add value to your byproduct. So this is all the, the circular economy uh, thinking. So you already have a business that has some byproduct, side streams, uh, core product, you, you call it what you want. How can you, uh, you know, add value uh, to this and bringing more, generating more profit for your business? Then you can also satisfy your customer needs with new processes. And there's a lot of new trends um, in green proteins, insects, uh, in general, uh, sustainable food production, even sustainable um, material or other products, products non-food, chemicals, uh, for, for example. Uh, there are also things to, to, to look at there. Uh, so what would be your, your, key, your key activity? there. Uh, another interesting uh, strategy is to let your community be part of your business. So looking at the resources you have, you know, integrating your community. Uh, there's a lot of good examples of so social enterprises that uh, somehow can use the, these resources, but also get, get, get paid for it with a lot of work, rehabilitation, for example, or education programs for local schools. So many different uh, ways to implement this strategy um, and, and qu quite quite interesting and especially if we look at the how you you bind to your to your local to your rural area uh, very interesting uh, work on this looking on the the customer side uh, two two strategies so the first one will be to shorten the the value chain and actually our colleagues from smart chain will will talk a bit more about this um, next week, but a few examples, you know, farmer's market, direct farm sales, for example, uh, online marketplaces, um, you know, you, you, they, they are like blooming uh, nowadays, more and more. There's a box schemes as well uh, you, you can uh, sus subscribe to. Um, and then another interesting uh, strategy is to share the risk with the, the customer. And this is the, the concept of community supported agriculture, um, where basically the, the customer pay upfront the, the cost of the production. And I mean, I, I, I don't have time to go in depth, but if things go well, then you, you share the, the benefit. If, um, if things don't go so well, then you, you share the, the losses. Uh, so it, it's also a way to integrate your community to your um, to your business, um, and and those also are really developing, and it's nothing really new. I think it's been around for for decades, uh, but it's getting more and more popular. Uh, this uh, this type of program. Then we look at the value proposition. Uh, the two and a half maybe strategies there. So the first one is to increase the product uh, added value. So by, for example, transforming your product on the farm, uh, maybe being more flexible. So, you know, you don't only buy tomato, you, you buy tomato all year round, or you, you buy a tomato that is delivered to you at home. So it's the same product, but, you know, you add value, you add services to it, and, and you can uh, get more paid for it. Uh, or if we stay on the tomato uh, level, you know, the tomato sauce, uh, I don't know, sell pizzas, uh, a great uh, a lot of margin to do on this. So this is things we see more and more um, happening. I think a lot of the dairy uh, producer as well, are trying to produce their own cheese, for example. Um, that, that's uh, yeah, happening more and more. Then you can also increase the consumer's value. So, so it's how the consumer perceive your, your product. And there's a lot of uh, certification that help you to, to get the, 
the the consumer who somehow appreciates more your your organic tomato, for example. Um, but I mean, those are certification, but you, you could also work on your own marketing and, and you know, uh, working more on the, on the consumer's, uh, you know, consumer's knowledge. So like what, maybe I would appreciate much more my organic tomato if I know how it's produced. Um, if it's, you know, if it's more expensive than the other one, why would, would it be better? I don't really understand that. So these are also of, of uh, other measures, other actions you can you can take to implement this strategy. Then another strategy, and I haven't really found any examples of this, but it's to like service, serviceify, I would say. I don't think it's English, your product. So to go from, from a product-based uh, activity to a service-based activity. Um, one example I, I found that it's like it's nothing to do with the rural uh, businesses, is you know, instead of selling carpets. For companies, they are actually renting the carpet and then taking, you know, they install it, they, they come and, and take care of it, and then they remove it and replace it with another one. So they, they, it's basically from, uh, you know, buying once, you basically rent your product. Um, and that will be really interesting uh, to, to hear if you have examples from this after the presentation. Um, yeah, that was the value proposition. So we had the top, uh, then the revenue stream. So uh, what's coming in? Uh, there's a lot of different, you know, diversification you, you can do. Uh, um, the project heritage at the end of the month, we'll talk about this. Uh, take advantage of your local and cultural heritage, um, you know, to, to attract more customer. There's also this, you know, selling experience. We have a really interesting case in the Rubismo project. Um, you know, you can become a shepherd for a day, for example. Um, so you you have you have your uh, your sheep, you have your farm, you have everything. Um, it's an extra activity you do, but you you can get you get paid for it. Um, there's a lot of also you know weekend courses or short courses, uh, uh, for example which are part of experience. Then you can rent uh, yeah, underused property, um, uh, I call here. So we have a bit extra of land. You are like in a, in a quite, maybe it doesn't have to be so touristic, but if there's fewer attractions, you, you know, camping, hostel. Uh, we have an example that they also offer working places uh, in rural areas. Uh, I think it will get more and more popular uh, being away from uh, cities and and getting some fresh air. Uh, sometimes it smells a bit manure, but uh, it's still uh, it's still a nice uh, environment. Uh, and then another, I think, a strategy that is coming. Uh, it will be, a, I think, a major actor in the coming years is to get paid for the ecosystem services you provide. So especially looking at the carbon sequestration uh, biochar. So um, we had the presentation from la uh, last week from Tura, Robert. Um, this, if you can get, get paid for this, uh, these services, um, it will change, I think. Uh, many rural businesses, these grazing services as well. Uh, the same if we take your, your, your sheep, you, they could, you know, they could be used to, to graze uh, municipality land or, I don't know, industrial areas. Uh, for example, pollination is also a, an ecosystem services that you could get paid for. And then we have the last, uh, on the, the cost structure. We still, um, I got some really interesting examples there, or ideas. So the first one, to reduce your cost, because uh, that's what you want to work with is to, to streamline the, your process. So there's um, lean strategies, maybe could, could be, uh, could fit your, your business uh, to digitalize some processes, could also, you know, um, reduce the amount of work, of administrative work and so on. Uh, and then what's coming, I think also in, in, the, in the coming years is all this, not the mechanization, but the robotization, automatization of 
of activities um, in rural areas and especially in farming. Um, this uh, could be a, yeah quite a key a key player in the in the future. So here is um, like it's basically what I, I just covered um, during this uh, 10 15 minutes. And I'm actually really interested now to to know from you if you have you know any strategies you you feel oh this is this is really missing uh, any business cases any examples that would illustrate these strategies or I mean also any kind of question tips or, or feedback um, I'll be uh, really happy to to answer them so yeah uh, that's all for me thank you for your attention and uh, if you don't do so yet follow the, the Rubismo project on Twitter LinkedIn and YouTube uh, the content is getting really uh, yeah, uh, really packed now. So there's a, a lot of uh, content uh, to look at on, on the YouTube as well.